No one's coming to lift the weights for you. No one's coming to study for you. No one's coming to put in the hours for you. No one's coming to do all the hard work for you. You have to do it yourself. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. So when you make your decision, make the right decision. The price of regret is much harder than the price of discipline. The discipline weighs ounces, the regret weighs tons. If you want to live a happy, healthy, successful life, you've got to pick to go through the pain now and enjoy the peace later. Do not fall victim to the short-term gratification that is whispering in your ear, telling you five more minutes is fine. You can sleep in, you can eat that just this once. You can take the day off. You deserve to take a break. Shut that voice down. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. Your habits are the building blocks of your life. It's what you do every single day that matters more than anything. Doing things that are a break from your routine are going to require force. So you have to force yourself to be uncomfortable. Get out of your head. Get out of your feelings. Your feelings are screwing you over. If you listen to how you feel, you'll never get it because you'll never feel like doing it. Decide you'll do it no matter what. Commit yourself to the regime. You get up when you're supposed to get up. You study when you're supposed to study. You go to the gym when you're supposed to go to the gym. You work when you're supposed to work. You do whatever it is you told yourself you were going to do long after the mood you set it in is left. If you don't control your mind and your mind controls you, you're fucked. You got to take control and tell your brain where you want to go and what you want to do because if you don't, you will always be a loser. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every day of the fucking week. The problem with some of you, you just hope that good stuff is going to happen to you. You got to get up and make shit happen. You guys don't have unlimited time here. The world isn't going to stop and time isn't going to stop. Guess what? That's the way life is. You don't have enough time. You got to make time. Those at the top who become the best, they don't let too many terrible days create negative momentum for themselves. They're obsessed about stacking great productive days back to back to back to back because they know if you do that, the level of momentum created after a year, 2 years, 3 years, 5 years, 10 years of doing this becomes so massive that you start creating automatic wins based on your daily routines. Because it's not easy for you to continuously have a packed schedule day after day after day after day after day without you winning. All in is not 50%. All in is not 60 hours a week. All in is not I worked a Saturday twice a month. All in is not I missed one birthday party. All in is all fucking in. You better learn to get really, really used to being uncomfortable because nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Everything worthwhile, everything that matters, everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. Nothing worthwhile can you get by not being uncomfortable. Everything's going to make you uncomfortable. Get fucking used to it. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, you're Fucking limits are non-existent. Take control of your feelings. Take control of your emotions. Take control of your job. Take control of your problems. Take control of your future. And take control of your life.